Welcome to the future of PC optimization. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Paragon Tweaks utility, also known as the PTU. And this isn't just a PC cleaner or a tweak pack, it's a full performance ecosystem designed for people who want to stay up to date on the best tweaks, best drivers, and best game settings without having to constantly redo everything themselves. Specifically for Fortnite, this means fewer background processes fighting your CPU, more consistent frames during fights, reduced input delay, and a game that feels smoother and more responsive, giving you that 1% advantage over everyone else, especially in endgame or stacked lobbies and tournaments. Now, one of the biggest advantages here is that by being a subscriber to this PTU, you're always going to be guaranteed the latest tweaks, latest NVIDIA drivers without any performance loss, latest game profiles, and access to new features as they release. And a big reason why I am crazy excited about this is because I've looked up to the team behind PTU for over three years now, that team being Paragon Tweaks, Talantro, Jernin, and a couple more guys. And I've been following these guys for over three years now, and I always shout them out in my videos and recommend that you guys check them out. They've optimized systems for pros like Clicks, Booga, Muzz, Janus, Eyedrop, the list literally goes on and on and on. So when I heard that they were releasing a fully automated utility, that means no technician hopping onto your PC whatsoever, I just had to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to do three things. First, I'm going to walk you through the Paragon Tweaks utility step by step so that you understand exactly what each feature does and how to use it, even if you've never touched a tweak tool before in your life. Then I'm going to explain why these features actually matter for real world gaming performance, especially in Fortnite. And finally, after the walkthrough, I'm going to show you my own personal benchmarks, which is going to be Fortnite with PTU turned off versus PTU turned on using the exact same settings and systems so that you guys can see the difference for yourselves. And just a quick note on pricing before we get into it. So the PTU is going to have three tiers. There's going to be a free tier, which is just that bottom base tier, and you will be able to access certain tweaks with the free tier as well. There's also going to be an edge tier coming in at $8 a month and an apex tier coming in at $15 a month. And so edge is going to give you advanced automation and tweaks while apex unlocks literally everything, including BIOS optimization and automated driver reinstalls. And if you guys are indeed interested in purchasing a paid plan, I do actually have a discount code for you guys to save some money. You guys could use code HIGHCROSS at checkout for 10% off your purchase. I will have this down in the description down below as well if you guys just want to copy and paste the code in. So to continue, during this walkthrough, I'm going to be showing you guys the PTU with the Apex plan enabled. So I'm going to have the Apex plan, which is indeed that $15 plan, but I'll clearly point out what's free and what's not as we go along. So it's going to be very easy for you guys. So with all that said, let's start with the walkthrough. So first off, to download PTU, go down to the description of this video and click the first link, which will take you guys to paragontweaks.net. From there, I want you all to head over to the utilities section, and then you'll see Experience PTU. If you guys click that, that will take you to the pricing options in which you can decide what plan you want to partake in. And after choosing your plan, you'll be directed to download the PTU. And once the PTU is all downloaded, you will then be brought to a login page. And login is super simple. It's Discord only, no account creation needed, just hit author and you're in. All right, boys. So once you guys are logged in, the very first thing you guys are going to see within this PTU is going to be the homepage. And this homepage is going to act as kind of like a real time health dashboard for your PC. Here you can monitor CPU usage, GPU usage, RAM usage, and temperatures all in one place. And what really stands out is the temperature monitoring. You can view live graphs showing the last minute of activity, or you can open the detail view to see individual CPU core temperatures, CPU package averages, GPU core temps, GPU hotspot temps, temps, and the maximum temperatures recorded while the app has been open. And this is also extremely useful for helping to diagnose performance issues. Fortnite is very CPU sensitive, and if one or two cores are overheating or throttling, you can get stutters or inconsistent performance, even when your FPS counter looks completely fine. There's also a full system info tab on this page that breaks down your processor, motherboard, memory, GPU, VRAM, storage, network adapters, and even your active driver version. This makes troubleshooting way easier as well. You'll also see a what's new section which acts as a change log so you can see exactly what's been updated in PTU after each release. And there's also an AI powered news feed that pulls in PC and tech related news. That part's optional but useful if you like staying informed. Personally, I actually really love that tidbit. I'm a huge tech nerd and absolutely love staying informed with everything happening with AI recently. So that is very, very cool in my opinion. 
And also on the home page is disk utilization. So this section shows you a breakdown of your drives, partitions, how much space is being used and how much is free. But the important part is the cleanup files feature. So the cleanup files feature doesn't just delete temporary files from apps or Windows updates. It also removes leftover device data. For example, Windows remembers every keyboard, mouse or USB device that you've ever plugged in, even if you don't own it anymore. So over time, that unnecessary data can clutter system resources. When you run cleanup, it safely removes that junk. It doesn't touch your personal files or games and it runs in the background. And if it takes a while, that's completely normal. You could even close PTU and let it finish on its own. Now we get into one of the most important features in PTU, and honestly, this is pretty crazy. It is called Windows Ascension. So this feature is available to paid users only, and the easiest way to describe it is Windows game mode on steroids. So Windows Ascension lets you temporarily apply aggressive performance tweaks that would normally make Windows annoying or unusable if they were always on. Things like Windows Search, the Windows key, or certain background services may stop working while it's active, and that's intentional. The key difference is that it only runs while you are gaming. You could also choose which apps get closed automatically and which ones you want to be excluded. Like if you want Discord running in the background or Spotify, you could select those. And PTU will handle the rest. It also runs an extremely lightweight background service whose only job is to keep those apps and services closed while you play. And once you turn Windows Ascension off, everything instantly returns back to normal. You can even hide it to the system tray, reducing the app down to a single background process with no added input delay and no extra CPU usage. So the best practice here is simple. Turn Windows Ascension on right before launching Fortnite and then turn it off when you're done playing. So onto the system restore, which is gonna be your safety net. So before applying any tweaks, PTU strongly encourages you to create a system restore point. And I also will strongly encourage all of you guys to make a system restore point within PTU. Think of this as a save file for your entire PC. PTU never touches your personal files, but it does modify things like registry settings and drivers, and restore points help preserve exactly those changes. You can name restore points, add tags, even color code them, and if restore points are disabled, PTU will automatically enable them and allocate enough space. So if anything ever goes wrong, you could restore directly inside PTU or through Windows itself. This is purely for safety and peace of mind before we do any tweaks. Onto the resources section. So the resources section is basically where PTU really separates itself from traditional tweak tools. Here you will find fully automated system preparation tools. PTU can scan for system corruption, install all required C++ redistributables and direct X files, and on paid plans, it can even perform a complete NVIDIA or AMD driver reinstall. So the system corruption check will scan your Windows files against official sources to make sure nothing is broken before applying any of these tweaks. And if it ever gets stuck around 62%, that's actually a known Windows bug, just restart and run it again. The runtime installer ensures that all required C++ redistributables and .NET components are installed correctly. Missing or corrupted runtimes are one of the most common causes of game crashes, and this prevents that entirely. The automated driver reinstall is definitely one of the most impressive features in my opinion. There are no manual steps, you literally just click start and let it run. And I do want to mention black screens flickering or monitors turning off during this process are completely normal. And once it's done, NVIDIA users just have to confirm a couple settings in the control panel and you guys will be all good. And yeah, just to kind of quickly walk you guys through that process, what you guys want to do is go onto your desktop, right click and then open your NVIDIA control panel. And once your NVIDIA control panel is opened up, I want you guys to go to adjust image settings with preview. And then once you guys are in there, make sure you guys select use the advanced 3D image settings and then make sure you guys hit apply. Once that's done, you guys should go to the change resolution tab. And once you guys are in that tab, just make sure the resolution and refresh rate are exactly how you want it. And if you like how everything looks, just make sure to hit apply and that's all you guys gotta do. Onto the general tab. So the general tab will contain the core optimizations and it's completely free. So this includes the core power plan, which is one of the most impactful tweaks that you can apply. And it's safe for both desktops and laptops. Desktop users also get access to NVIDIA profile tweaks as well. PTU automatically reduces background process count, and every tweak includes warning cards if there's anything that you should be aware of, like increased power usage on laptops, for instance. And yeah, so what we're gonna do now is I'm just going to hit apply all. This is going to apply all the general tweaks, and this should typically be very fast to apply. It shouldn't take long at all.
The bloating section shows all installed apps, both Windows Store apps and desktop apps. Anything that shouldn't be removed is clearly marked, and Edge users get access to auto debloat, which removes apps that no normal user will usually need. The networking tab focuses on consistency and latency. So on the Apex plan, P2 can automatically optimize every active network adapter with a single click, and then all users will be able to run the buffer bloat test no matter what plan that you are on. And buffer bloat is basically hidden latency that happens when someone else on your network is downloading or streaming. It doesn't always show up as high or ping, but it can cause delayed shots, late builds, or weird hit registration in Fortnite. And this test shows your latency under load versus unloaded, and helps you identify whether your networking equipment is holding you back or not. Now onto advanced tweaks. So advanced tweaks go much deeper than general. Edge users are going to get access to most of these tweaks, while Apex users get absolutely everything in here. Each tier has its own power plan, with Apex being the most aggressive and reserved for desktop systems only, so it is not going to be available for laptop users. And in the background footage, I hit apply all to apply all these tweaks available, as you guys can see. And these tweaks modify deeper Windows behavior, so they will most likely take a long time to finish. Just trust the process and watch it go through. Again, it is probably going to take a long time. Once they're finished, though, a restart is strongly recommended. So once those tweaks are done, we can head over to the game profile section. And game profiles basically apply competitive performance focused settings for supported games within the PTU. So for instance, for Fortnite and Apex, PTU can apply these settings even before the game is installed. That means that when you launch the game for the very first time, you're already starting from a clean optimized baseline. And PTU automatically detects your resolution and refresh rate, applies appropriate FPS behavior, and lets you customize things like performance mode or audio quality. Clearing cache after updates is recommended to avoid stutters as well. And these profiles are kept up to date with every major game update as well, so there's no need to go in and manually change these. These will automatically keep getting added after every update. Now before we move on to the BIOS section, I quickly want to mention something cool about this PTU that a lot of people might overlook, that being PTU points. So just by using PTU, you automatically earn PTU points over time. The app doesn't need to be running 24-7 either. So as long as you've opened it at least once within the last week, you'll continue earning points daily based on your tier. What's nice is that even free users can earn PTU points, so you don't need to be on a paid plan to participate, and these points can be redeemed for giveaways that Paragon runs, things like gaming mice, keyboards, headsets, monitors, and sometimes even full PCs. And when a giveaway goes live, you'll see it posted on their website, and you'll also get notified directly inside the app as well. So it's basically a built-in reward system just for keeping your PC optimized. I absolutely love this, um, and I just want to make a quick little mention of that before we hop into the BIOS settings. So now, let's move into the most advanced part of PTU. Now guys, we have to talk about the BIOS page because this is the most advanced part of PTU and honestly the most impressive thing I probably have ever seen in my life. So basically, this BIOS interface is literally the only one in the entire world that can tweak your BIOS settings specific to your PC. So this system uses a custom server-side algorithm that analyzes your current BIOS settings and determines the best performance-focused adjustments for your specific hardware. That is absolutely insane, so it's tailoring it specific to your hardware. Toggles control whether PTU adjusts a setting, they do not turn features on or off, PTU never touches TPM or secure boot, never overclocks, and never increases temperatures either. So after applying all these BIOS tweaks, it is strongly recommended to enter BIOS just once manually to hit save and exit just to make sure you lock everything in. And that is it, boys. So that was the PTU, and I am just absolutely shocked. This is literally the future of PC optimization. Any one of you guys watching this video can be on the absolute best tweaks out there in the entire world for just $15 a month at that Apex plan. So that is absolutely insane. So now that you've seen exactly how PTU works and how the tweaks are applied, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, this is super cool and all, but does it really work? And the short answer is yes. And the difference is honestly incredible. So to showcase the PTU in action, I wanted to run some tests. I really wanted to see, does this actually increase performance or not? So I decided to use CatFrame X, which is a utility to record FPS averages within Fortnite. And so I used CatFrame X to record my findings and I ran a lot of tests. I mean, a lot of them. It took me hours and hours and hours of testing. 
and I made sure to keep all variables constant by wearing the same skin, I landed the same spot every game, and made sure that every game that I landed in was a solo ranked match. And I recorded my gameplay before PTU and also after the PTU with full tweaks on to capture my results. I then aggregated this data together for both the before tweaks and after tweaks respectively, and here's what the results showed. So first up, let's look at the FPS numbers. Now, most people normally just look at the blue bar, the average FPS. And yeah, we saw a nice little bump there going from about 329 to 342 FPS. That's great and all, but it's actually not the most important part. The real magic is in the orange and yellow bars. These represent your 1% and 0.1% lows. Basically, how much your FPS drops when things get chaotic, like during a heavy build fight or a stacked endgame. Before PTU, my 1% lows were sitting around 125. After PTU, they shot up to 195. That is a massive 70 FPS jump in stability. This means that when you're in those intense moments where your PC usually chugs, it's going to hold steady instead. And you can see this even more clearly in my second benchmark, which actually measures frame time consistency. Now, if you look at the bottom bar before PTU, you see that big red chunk on the right? That represents large spikes or stutters, basically moments where the game feels really choppy. Now look at the top bar after PTU. That red section is almost completely gone, and the blue section has expanded. So in plain English, the game isn't just running faster, it's also running smoother. The hitching and micro stutters that mess up your aim are virtually eliminated, giving you that buttery smooth input response that you need to hit your shots. So yeah boys, that is going to be the Paragon Tweaks utility. So. Overall, I am incredibly impressed, and like I said before, this is genuinely the future of PC optimization. I wouldn't ever want to sway you guys the wrong way, so I really wanted to do my own testing to get my own results to really prove if this thing is legit. And this PTU is just absolutely incredible, guys. And for these prices, $8 a month for the Edge plan, $15 a month for Apex, even if you just want that free plan, you are still getting some of these tweaks. These are incredible prices. So whether you stick with that free tier or go all in on Apex, again, my recommendation is go all in on Apex because you can get absolutely everything. This is definitely the absolute best PC optimization tool available right now. There's nothing else better. Everyone needs to go check this out. So everything will be linked down below, including the Paragon Tweaks website, so that you guys can easily go down there and download the PTU. I will also have links to the entire team behind this PTU linked down below as well. Please go and drop these guys a follow. They truly deserve any support possible because they've been working a really long time on this PTU. And as always, I will continue to recommend these guys because they are easily the best at what they do out there. So with that said, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.